King County delivers regional services to more than two million people. These are services that don't make sense for cities to provide on their own. This year, the budget is about $11 billion for the next two years. You know, at a time when there's a lot of discord and dysfunction at the national level, the King County Council has passed a budget on time with unanimous bipartisan support, and the budget is balanced with strong reserves. We know how important it is to get around, and we're investing 200,000 hours of new transit bus service with a focus on geographic equity, so it's in every corner of the county. King County is also the local government for areas where there aren't cities. These include rural areas and unincorporated areas. If the people who live in the unincorporated area were a city, they would be the second largest city in the state. In this budget, the thing that I'm the most proud of is the setting up the Department of Local Services. The county has done a really good job of being a regional county, and we've run all kinds of awards for being a good regional government. But we haven't focused as much as I would like on the local services. And so in this budget, after many years of working together with the executive, we have come up with developing a department of local services. So there will be a focus on the local, and they deserve to have a government that's devoted directly to them, close to them, and monitoring that their needs are being met. I'm really proud of, despite our, our, our limitations on what we could do in terms of spending, the prioritization of investing uh, resources in helping lift people out of poverty. So, for example, uh, in our transit program, we have budgeted for a very low income fare for those making 135% of the federal poverty or less. That's about $12,000 a year uh, at, at, at the federal poverty level. So if you're making that much money, it means you're working, but you're really struggling. And between housing and transit, those are kind of the two major costs and barriers to, to opportunity. So um, by early 2019, we hope to have that very low income fare out on the street. It builds on our ORCA lift program, which has been very successful. Really proud of that. We put $100 million plus dollars in affordable housing money here from the hotel motel tax. Uh, and we've funded millions of dollars of new shelter beds. I was very pleased to get into the budget a study to determine what we can do to improve the diversity and participation in our juries. We know that there is very little participation by people of color. Uh, the, the reality for people who are African American, Asian American, uh, who are of any group of color, they're not having the access to justice they deserve because their juries are not reflective of their population group. We're seeing uh, a growing problem with gang activity in King County, so we are investing almost a million dollars in new King County Sheriff's deputies to uh, reform a gang task force. The sheriff is going to partner with other cities and jurisdictions to have a dedicated regional gang task force to tackle this challenge. But we know when it comes to gang violence, police officers aren't enough. We're continuing to invest in young people in prevention programs and uh, opportunities that keep kids out of trouble in the first place. I was very pleased that we were able to get into the budget a study to address the impacts of toxins that are released through the effluent coming from our wastewater treatment plants. Now, while the risk to human life and health may not be uh, negative, it can be very negative to those in the marine environment. I think our ability to come and work together balance our budget, have strong reserves, and do it in a way that everyone is supportive of is uh, an important sign that democracy can work and that local government can function for the people we represent.